that's it okay so now what I have done uh, I have make made these steps for uh, Ubuntu and uh, Red Hat as well so if you are on Ubuntu you can follow these two slides okay installing postfix and configuring it but uh, currently I can show it on RHGL so see the next three slides are for RHGL so if you are working on RHGL you can skip above two slides and if you are working on Ubuntu Debian then you can uh, you can uh, skip these three so in RHGL you can use these uh, um, A to F commands just to install the modules uh, I'm pretty sure you can do that and uh, now you have to execute this command echo smtp.gmail.com and this is my email from which I want to send emails colon password here so this has to be uh, uh, the password so now you have two options as I told earlier if you are using two-step enabled method then you have to provide app password here what is the app password app password is this one which we copied here this one and if you are using the second way that is allow less secure apps so at that time you need to put your uh, normal gmail password here that's it and then uh, just execute this step it will uh, create a db file for for your this file okay and uh, as you can see these all uh, password and e email address are getting stored in this file so once you execute this postmap command it will uh, create a .db file okay so just make a backup of uh, main.cf file this is the main configuration file before doing anything so let's move ahead and uh, here uh, when you say uh, when you open it so now just read it here uh, do not delete any line I have added some extra parameters just compare okay so relay host sorry relay host is equal to this and uh, earlier it was just uh, let me just search it and show you what you have to do is just uh, copy this variable come to the file and search it so earlier uh, this was uh, empty or I don't remember like it was some other values so you have to uh, replace it with this one and then uh, same as these three uh, variables just go and check it and uh, uh, and and put these values as well okay and uh, again uh, edit uh, these are these three lines you will not be able to see in the file these three lines I added uh, myself okay and uh, just go and uh, add these lines and uh, and these variables uh, inet protocols it was uh, earlier it was all so I just made it IPv6 all means IPv6 and IPv4 and my host name and uh, my domain name this you have to uh, you have to run some command and then uh, you can edit it so for example I'm just copying this let's search it here okay so now you can see the value of my host name is this so so it won't be same for you so so, so, so for this you can go back and run uh, host name so whatever is coming here you can put it in uh, host name and uh, up, up to this before this dot you can put it in the domain name so let's move further and yeah you need to uncomment one line and that is this one let me just copy it uh, vim search right click this next search okay mm. only one line you have to add this is the line just uncomment it that's it now you need to save this file yeah before saving this let me show you one more thing uh, the last thing which is you need to give the values of these two files certificate file and key file so let me search it here and search so now it is uh, this one secure.cert this is 
after doing the uh, certificate activity uh, earlier it was something else so so you can follow the next steps to accomplish this so these variables need some values uh, some certificates and a private key so that you need to create so you need to create it let's proceed so stay in this directory atc postfix and uh, execute this command so it will uh, generate a mail.csr file and uh, this will generate a secure.cert file and uh, then uh, you have those files and just uh, edit this file main.cf and uh, give the values like you have stored these certificates here secure.cert and give the private key so when you uh, when you run these commands it will automatically get created so you just need to uh, put these variables in this file so yeah I have it here okay fine let's close this file move ahead okay now let's send a test mail now now postfix configuration has been done now what you can do you can just uh, give it a try so I will just use this command and we'll try executing it enter yeah it's saying that's okay that's okay let's give some errors that's okay so just go to okay so now email has been sent but to which email address this one nishant2603938 at gmail.com let's go and open that gmail this one and see is there any email yeah right now we have sent this from rhgl1 and 954 and 955 okay so yes we have received it and uh, if you go to this you can see that we have just mentioned the subject from rhgl1 and you can verify it yes the subject is from this okay now just quickly proceed and move ahead with our next slide and uh, that is follow steps in Zabbix console so that's it for uh, this video and uh, I will continue the second part in the next video as the duration of video will exceed so thank you for uh, watching this video and uh, the next video will come very soon and uh, yeah stay updated uh, please uh, subscribe if uh, this channel is helpful thank you all bye bye